me go nowhere. Oh my gosh, oh, look at it. <laughs> Ryan Cameron! <laughs> which I like the, the camel. I mean, I feel very, very funny and very happy because she just let the inner girl inside of her just, I mean, get alive again. <laughs> because she is crazy, but this is the reason why make me love her, because I'm crazy too. You do have some assets. We talked about that. You own yes. a house here, and you yes. have some money in the bank. Yes, ma'am. How about your future husband? Does, does he have anything? No, he's he's just a, a farm person. He's a kid. He he's nothing. not a kid. He has nothing. What does he have? A what did you board? What did you have when you were twenty four? Uh, I, at least I had a full time job. Well, well, how old is he? He's twenty four years old. Twelve. <sighs> well, I'm not your typical sixty seven year old woman. Gina, obviously this guy is very manipulating. He's already manipulated my mom to move over there. What is to say that he doesn't manipulate her to transfer money and, and items later on? How is that protected? We so, hope that we don't do that, Deborah, so, because you need to protect no, your no, future. No, no. It flies in the face of us trying to do what we're doing with the prenuptial agreement, which is to protect our assets. Right. Debbie contacted me a few weeks ago. I am surprised uh, to discover that Debbie's fiance is only 24 years old. That is quite an age difference. Personally, I feel that there are some red flags in this situation. Debbie is traveling halfway across the world to marry a man that doesn't have any assets. She has all the assets, and she could stand to lose everything she worked for if it, they're not protected. Suppose this happens like a fairy tale with a wonderful, happy ending for me, and say I'm married to Osama 10 years down the road, 15 years down the road, and he is everything and more than I ever hoped he could be. Right. What if I want to drop a little money on him then? What do you suggest? You know, if everything has a happily ever after to it. And right. Which I anticipate this time. We okay. anticipated that with two other husbands. I would rather you not amend the prenup at all. Mm -hmm. I would suggest putting money in a joint account so that you have control over it still. Okay. Stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. You wish to watch what you call it stupid. This Sometimes is stupid. stupid turns into genius, you know? No. I'm very afraid that once my mom is there, that she wouldn't hesitate of transferring all her American funds and money into an account that he has an access to. And the way that she is talking about supporting him in the future tells me already that she has supported him and she's keeping stuff from us. I trust a lot of things. I don't trust Osama. Not one, one bit. Well, I'm so excited just because a uh, long time I didn't see her. With me and DB is like we are like a team. And now I need my half to complete the team. I'm about to step into my whole new life now. Morocco is my home. Naturally, I have concerns. You know, with my son, Julian, nagging me constantly, he plants all those seeds in me. There's a part of me that's very insecure, and I want Osama to say, Debbie, it's going to be OK no matter what. I need that. I want to give Osama the lead as far as when are we going to go get married. But I'd like to get married in about a month. It's Osama. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he looks handsome. <laughs> hey, Osama. Finally. Did you miss me? <laughs> Finally, yep, I miss you so much. You look so Wait handsome. Look, I look like an angel, you know. <laughs> oh, golly, Osama. It seems like a dream, doesn't it? The so half was missing is getting connected now. <laughs> yes, yes. Our strange connection. Yep, Only strange you connection. And me know. Strange, but beautiful. Yes. <laughs> You're my strange beautiful. You're my strange beautiful too. <laughs> <laughs> I love you just for beginning yourself. Can you close your eyes? Can you open them? 
I feel like I'm in a dreamlike trance, almost like I can't stop myself from staring at him and coming to him like a magnet. It's like a force that words can't describe. I moved mountains to come over here. I hurt my kids. I had expectations and I believed your word to me that you loved me and we were to get married. And now you're, you're telling me you're not going to marry me and this is a two month test drive? Because I need to live with you in reality to see if you accept me in reality, if me accept you in reality. Well, why couldn't you tell me, gee, Debbie, why don't you come and I'll see if I can accept you in reality or not? Why didn't you say something like that? Because if I said to you this, he wouldn't just come. Well, how do you think I feel now? How, what, what do you think it's like to be sitting over here looking like a fool? Why didn't you say, Debbie, don't pack all your stuff? Why didn't you say, Debbie, slow down? It's because, you know, if things go good as we will, we'll get married in the end. You really screwed up big time, Osama. Why? It's like shame on you. Why? Because I said the truth. I uh, just want to get my video feel, but we have to be in reality. After three years, you have the audacity to say that to me? Three years in social media, not in reality. I've spent Please. enough time in your reality. I know that you feel hurt. You lied to me. No, it's not a lie. You lied because to me. Because I'm still, I'm still want to marry you. You know what? I don't believe you anymore. I still you, love you as, you as the first time. I mean, there is nothing changed in our love. I don't believe you. I'm using a tremendous amount of self-control. I'm trying to keep it together without wringing his neck. Last year, when I was in Morocco, he was ready to marry me. He was rushing me to the U.S. Embassy to get the required paperwork. But then I come this time, it's like, what happened to him? What happened to my Osama? This was my Prince Charming, and I'm starting to see somebody that I don't even know anymore. Oh, look, 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 uh, look, look. Yep. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. gosh. Hey, hey. They can I the catch camel? the camel? Oh my God, I see the camel. I've always wanted to ride a camel. Hi, Mr. Camel. Are you nice boy? Be careful oh, with the camel. I love you, camel. Can, I, can we please, please, Yep, yep, please. yep, 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 yep. Do they got a seat belt? What? A seat belt. Who invited you guys? He's big and he's thick and, and he's bent down on his knees and I'm thinking, how can I get up over him? And I'm, so I'm saying to myself, I'm willing myself, I am getting on this camel come hell or high water and I'm going for a camel ride on the beach in Morocco. <laughs> Help me up, Osama. Look at me, I'm on a camel. <laughs> hey! Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh, you're so skinny to hold on to. Just hold me. Don't worry, don't worry. Crazy woman. Don't let me go nowhere. Oh, my gosh, oh. look at it. <laughs> Ryan Cameron. <laughs> which have had the, the camel. I mean, I feel very, very funny and very happy because she just let the inner girl inside of her just, I mean, get alive again. <laughs> because she is crazy, but this is the reason why making me love her, because I'm crazy too. I'm on a camel! <laughs> the camel ride, I thought it would be kind of like riding a horse. But Lord have mercy, it's like you're on a teeter-totter of something very unstable. 
I'm hanging on to Osama, who's no, no bigger than a toothpick. I'm clinging to him for dear life, but I'm not getting off the camel, man. It's like I'm going on my camel ride. You know, it was really, really hard for me to accept the age difference between Osama and myself. But because of his heart and his, his words were beautiful, we have an unusual relationship, but it's connected in art and honesty and good intention. How did they feel about the age difference? Did they feel bad like me at first about it? And... He said, like, age is not important for him. What's important for him is if you understand me and understand you. Thank you, sir. I, I, I'm curious. I never ask Osama, but I like to know how old mom and dad is. Uh, six, 68. 68. You 68? Yeah. You look younger yeah. than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad dad is all, a little bit older than me. <laughs> 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 makes me feel so good. Yeah. yeah, I kept thinking, Maybe I'm older than dad. A part of me is given a big sigh of relief when they said they accept the age difference. Even though there's been a few bumps in the road since I arrived here, but after meeting Osama's family, my dream of marrying Osama is starting to become more of a reality. And I'm starting to feel like, OK, we're headed in the right direction now. I've got a new friend over there. You want to see him? They want to see Miss Debbie. Oh, look at his ears. You want to play with me? Come see Mama. Mama love you. Pretty. Pretty. My pretty. To ra lu ra lu ra To ra lu ra la To ra lu ra lu ra That's an Irish lullaby You can let Miss Debbie ride you? I saw that sweet donkey, and something came over. Oh, please let me ride that donkey. Maybe you loved me a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, I got a kiss. Osama, he kissed me. I speak the language of donkey, I think. Let me try it. We have to bench because the sun wave goes on. But I want to ride the donkey. I have always had an affinity for animals and I connect with them. Not too fast. Oh, Osama. OK, Osama, slow down, please. My, I don't have a butt. God didn't give me a butt, Osama! <laughs> you did that up purpose, I don't do this, no. Damn it, Osama. Okay. I told you to be careful with the donkey. I always told you this because it's you were fun. It's not the donkey, yeah. it's you. No, no, it's not me. It's not me. I told yeah, you it's not it's me. Yeah, it's you, man. <laughs> What's your idea of what comes next for you and me? What do Our you plans. mean? What are Osama's for plans? For the I just want to paint and forget about everything. Because it's not the right time to talk about plans now. It's well, time for creating. You can do both at the same time. No, I can't. 
I have one mind, not two. It's been difficult bringing this up to Osama, but this is important. He needs to, like, put his input in that, yeah, we're going to look for apartments. Yes, we're going to Rabat, and this is the best possible place that we can have this conversation. We need to have plans for our future. Yep. We but come I... here just to divide the donkey and to plant, not to talk about the plans. Is that right? No, because I need to talk about the plans. You plan. always talk about the plans every day. This is the day because I will plant, I'll talk about the plan. I will write, let's talk about the plan. I will go out, let's talk about the plan. And I time we can talk about the plan. It's enough for today. We talk every day about the plans and we talk about everything today. Well, okay? But when I talk about the future mm -hmm. and needing security, you always kind of say, well, we'll talk about it later. I don't want to push you at all, no. but I feel I need to I make plans. Okay. I just want Go a little yes, bit. Yeah. Okay, let's go. It's okay. A little bit like, can we look at apartments online tonight? Maybe we can. The odd thing is, me and Osama have these wonderful, deep conversations via texting. And now it's like, do I have to get out my phone and text him to have these honest heart-to-heart -heart conversations? Now that I'm here, large in person, I'm getting nothing, man. I'm getting nothing. You said that I would come here and you would love me and take care of me and you would prove it. And now it's like you just kind of like, oh, shut up, Debbie. I don't want to talk to the hand. Well, right? You don't take that patient with me. You think I'm not patient? Yep. Because you I, want to do everything right here, right now. I yeah. didn't want you to do it right now. I just wanted you to sketch an outline of our future. And we just starting. I mean, I will not do everything in one day. Are you crazy? We will not do everything in one day. You are sick. You have like a mental sickness or something. What? It's sick times. What's yeah. going on with this lady? I don't get it, man. So you think I'm mentally ill? You're acting real cold-blooded right now. And this is making me angry, and I'm not angry in my nature. It's and making me feel hurt inside. You, and you, you don't think I'm feeling hurt right now? You don't think I hear my kids saying, Mom, I told you so, this guy can't take care of you, this guy is not going to be straight and honest with you? You don't think I can hear them saying that, Mom, be careful? I want to talk about serious things, and you act like, a, oh, you're crazy, you're mentally ill. So we talk about the plans. Our plan is you will come here and bring me to the USA, and I will go to work there, and we start our life there. We can guarantee the future here. This is our plan. And I will, from this day, never change it. If you don't accept this, we can stop all this. 